a revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Together, we will change Gotham. Now, Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Your father knew which hands to shake. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Bye, Bat. <laughs> this is Selena. Chemicals. Where are they? We're all being played in, including you. I thought I might find you here. The news was upsetting for both of us, but you should see this. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's all so public and messy. People are throwing stones at my family, Alfred. I need to understand why. It's my family, too. Don't forget that. I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. I, I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just not possible. That kind of money taints you. You kept their secrets for them. I'm trying to help you understand. Then try harder! Hill greased the wheels of politics. Falcone was the muscle. Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. Your father, Hamilton Hill, and Falcone, they were partners. Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. Falcone, the papers, they were telling the truth. Everyone knew about this but me. I know it's a lot to take in. I want you to know I had my suitcases ready. 
I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. But then they were killed, and you were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. I hope you can forgive me. How could I hold this against you? You're all I've got, Alfred. Thank you. I won't let you down again. This is the first time I've been back here since that night. When the police called me to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. I couldn't believe a low-life thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. He was simply too well known. Too... too big. Yet, there it was. If my father was that deep in crime, he would have had enemies. Well, it's a fair assumption. You don't think. You always said it was a simple mugging. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that story. I can recall every moment of that night in vivid detail. But maybe that's wrong. Sometimes, we block out things we don't want to face. Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. standing here, right now. And what would the Batman do with his own parents' killer? The possibilities are frightening. I wouldn't trust myself around him. Batman doesn't kill. That's why I wouldn't trust myself. He was stabbed to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. Think back to that night, as hard as it might be to do so. Sadly, he was mistaken. I just... I can't picture him as a criminal. Not the kind I deal with. In that moment, he was simply your father. I love that movie. Saw it countless times at that theater. How long did it play there? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. I never knew that. She was always so good to me. Exactly, does the memory end? With my father pleading, you don't have to do this. And the gun fires. And after that? Uh, there are considerable gaps in that recollection. Maybe. Do I really want to know? Stay back! Take whatever you want! Let him 
personal. Just business. He told me you had it coming. You... you don't have to do this. Falcone knows why. Getting you in to see Falcone like this? I don't have to tell you how many rules we're breaking. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm always here for you, but this could land us both in hot water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. Look, I get that hard, okay? And it means a lot to me. I know it does, Bruce. It doesn't make it any easier. The last time we brushed shoulders with Falcone, the press made us pay. At least tell me what this is about. Look, I'm all for blind support, but I should at least know what I'm getting myself into. This is a personal matter, Harvey. Fine, fine, don't tell me. And I hope none of this comes back to bite us. I don't want headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. Dent, Mr. Wayne, welcome to the GCVD. Thank you, Lieutenant. Now, ordinarily, we'd never let you in to see Falcone, but it uh, must be nice to have a DA in your pocket, Mr. Wayne. Bend the rules whenever you need it. One hand washes the other, Lieutenant. Is that how it works? Of course. Otherwise, everyone has dirty hands. What he means is, we'll repay the favor in kind. I'm gonna call you on that. Nice job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Rene. Not this time. Mr. Wayne, Sergeant Rene Montoya. I just wanted to say, you know, some of us police support you, despite what the media is saying. Thanks, Sergeant. We're keeping Falcone in the infirmary. He's lucky he didn't get roughed up more. I could tell Batman wanted to kill him, but. He held back. He cares about doing the right thing. Well, whoever he is behind that mask, I say Gotham's lucky to have him. Yeah, it's great to know he's out there watching over the city. All right, Falcone's inside. Just say what you gotta say. We'll be out here. Swain. You must have some clout. My own wife can't get in to see me. Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. 
Just like every other time they tried to put me away. We need to talk, Falcone. You weren't so eager the last time we met. But then, I knew you'd come around. Especially after the press got their teeth into you. <laughs> You're your father's son. Yeah, that's right. Tommy and I were close. More than friends. More like cousins. Going back decades. Until you sent Joe Chill to kill him. Ah, so that's what this is really about, eh? The pop digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two killings, and they were never forgotten. You and me, we're practically family. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. I tried to get through to you at Dent's party. But you, you showed me the door. We are not family, Falcone. I'm nothing like you. If you're anything like Thomas Wayne, then we're not so different. Your father, Hill, and me, we ran this city. Still do. <clears throat> God damn this pain. Can't think through it. Morphine's on the side there. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? did it. You got that Wayne seed. He loved you, you know. He did it all for you. He protected his own. But if you got on his bad side, your father was more ruthless than any of us. He had a switch, you know. Still, made us all rich, including you. Some people just have the mind for it. He was one of the most brilliant men I ever knew. Until you hired an assassin to take him out. What, you really think I ordered the hit? Sure, I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone, he'd take him out. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. So who did? You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that. They're waiting for you in hell! The bastard had to die. Hands in the air! Stand down! Get a doctor! Secure this floor! No one gets in or out! Go! Go! some time, but not much. Word's gonna get out, sooner or later. Why would she do something like this? We had Gotham's biggest crime lord in our grasp. This close, we were this close. I don't, I don't know. I hardly recognized her when she burst in. She was so different from the woman we met in the hall. <sighs> it's a disgrace. Another officer gone rogue. It just doesn't make any sense. She'd never do anything to hurt the department. Oh, Falcone's case meant justice for a thousand unnamed victims. And now it is a PR disaster. 
How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? Listen, we gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. Issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. Uh, details are still coming in and that we're investigating. The, the usual. Harvey's right. We need to control this story or someone else will. Then we need the whole story, not just part of it. Lieutenant, uh, Mr. District Attorney, uh, Falcone's lawyers are here. Oh, Christ. I can delay them for a little while, but we still need answers. Tell me if she says anything. I have to know why she did this. Good God! I'm looking into it, but I'll need access to the back computer for anything I find. Connection secured. Alfred, I'm gonna try and confirm some suspicions of mine. Fresh injection site. That doesn't look like blood. Her veins, still visible beneath her skin. Alfred, I think I found the substance. Analyze and forward me the result. Of course. I'll be in touch as soon as I have the results. Where am I? Mr. Wayne? What's going on? Oh, but I got this awful feeling something terrible happened. It's not good, Sergeant. You shot Falcone. I did what? No. God, it's true. I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. I... It would explain a lot. Listen, you have to believe me. I talk big about hurting thugs like Falcone, but I would never, never betray the lieutenant. Everything is so foggy. I remember a sharp pain. There's an injection site on your neck. Then I just felt light, like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt, no consequence. There was a voice in my ear insisting Falcone was gonna get off. And all I knew was that I had to stop that. I had to, no matter what. The reasons why I shouldn't, they were a million miles away. D did you see a face? Could you ID a suspect? I, I don't think so. You must remember some detail, try. I remember a hand on my arm, guiding me like a parent with a child. The voice, it was saying something about revolution. Cobblepot said something similar. I'm so sorry, Lieutenant. I've let you down. We stalled Falcone's lawyers for now, but they'll be back. How is she? Did she tell you anything? Yeah, hey, hey, don't worry about that now. I found evidence that she was drugged. A fresh injection site on her neck. I was out of my mind, Lieutenant. Please believe me. Hey, I do. Of course I do. Hey, get forensics in here. Now! She remembers a voice saying something about revolution. That's not much to go on. Now, if you're bringing forensics in, let's get Bruce out. Alfred, I gotta get back to the manor. I've got a lead on whoever's behind this. Bruce! Wh what are you doing here? My friends in the, in the GCPD have been telling stories about some kind of lockdown? I'm, I'm sorry, Vicky. I, I don't have time. Don't brush me off. Word is there were shots fired near where Falcone was being held. Know anything about that? I mean, you must have been back there when it happened. Where did you get that? So it's true? <laughs> no, I didn't say that. Listen, I owe you for those files on Falcone. I got a lot of credit the Gazette for that story. 
Whatever's going on here, you can't afford to be associated with it. Let me help you. I can keep your name out of whatever we print, but you need to give me something I can use. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? I can tell by the way you're brushing me off that something happened. Please, get out of my way, Vicky. I'm in a hurry. Huh. Disappointing. Maybe you have more to do with this than I thought.